Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. So today I want to talk about, because we're in a pandemic, as I record this, I've been shooting more street out the window of my car. So I can get to some places that I ordinarily couldn't go, but I also can't get out and walk. So it's a different point of view. But I want to show you my setup. So I ended up picking up this 28 1.8 for like 75 bucks or something at a used sale, which is an incredible deal on a 28 1.8 G lens. But it's fast, it's silent, and this lives on a D610. And what I've done is I put a little piece of gaffer tape that if I want to use autofocus, I can put that gaffer tape down here on the bottom of the camera and then not have it on the lens and it's ready to go. And the beauty of gaffer tape is it doesn't leave any residue when it comes off. It's really strong and it leaves no residue like duct tape leaves residue and it's kind of gummy, but duck, uh, gaffer tape doesn't. So I keep a piece of gaffer tape on the bottom of this camera. And so I was just out shooting. So I left it on the lens. So what I want to do is I wanted to put the camera on manual focus and I want to make sure it doesn't get bumped off of that position because I've learned that if I focus it at around 15 feet at F8, everything from my right side of my car window to my left side is in focus if it's within six feet of my car door. But if it gets bumped a little bit further towards infinity or a little bit closer, then it's not. And I was just using manual focus and then setting the lens, but I'd find that when I set it down on a car seat, it would get bumped and, and then it would no longer be in that perfect position. So tape, high tech tape to the rescue. Um, and then I did two kinds of shooting. I was going out and I was shooting at a thousandth of a second at F8 at ISO 200, maybe 250. And I was like, you know what? F8 will give me deep focus with the 28 and that one thousandth of a second, that can stop a, a, a car in, in motion. That should be fine. But then I realized as I was shooting that because I'm in motion, I'm actually adding to the amount of motion in the shot. I might think I'm holding the camera still, but this is what the camera is really doing. And I'm just not aware of it because I'm driving and pointing out the window without looking so much. I'm really, really safe. But I definitely shoot a lot out the window and I have to be able to do that without looking. And this is a good example of how a thousandth of a second, which should freeze anything, doesn't. And so I pushed it and did some tests, same focus mark, same F8. I pushed the ISO up to 800 and I shot at a four thousandth of a second. I even shot some tests at a 2000 and there was still some subject motion. So a four thousandth of a second is what locks in absolute stillness, eyelashes, people, whatever is going by my car. If it's six feet away from my car door, it's in focus if it's in the frame. So that's an amazing thing. So this camera, if I put it on and it's set on manual for four thousandths of a second at F8, and that focus mark is locked at the 15 feet mark, I can point this camera out anywhere I want and outside my window, I will have perfect focus. So sometimes I like to photograph as I pass people waiting to cross the street. Once I get the green, they're standing waiting. I just like to see what people do in times of waiting. And sometimes I've found really interesting little stories of what they're holding and how they're communicating and how they're dressed. And that's the kind of thing I can be driving along and just put the camera up to the car window and do it. But that four thousandth of a second at F8, ISO 800, that's the magic equation. And I learned it because some of the stuff at a thousandth of a second wasn't quite sharp. And I need to be able to guarantee if I point the camera at something, it's going to be razor sharp. It's going to be you know, I'm guessing framing. So there's some luck involved. 
And sometimes if I pull over, if I stop and I photograph something as I'm able to look out the window, you know, but it's already set. It's a point and shoot camera at that point because the focus has been locked and it's not going to get bumped. The other thing you have to watch out for is the camera strap. You might want to take this off if you're ever going to try this. Sometimes I reach for the camera and the camera strap grabs the brake lever, the, the handbrake, and it doesn't pull it, but it just gets caught on it. And it's one of those things where as you're driving along, you reach for it, it's like, okay, I can't get it. It's stuck on something. So sometimes when I drive, I'll, if I'm going through an area where it's really a lot of people, and I know I'm going to be shooting a lot, I'll just roll it up like this, and then I'll just have it in my hand. And then I'm driving with one hand. This hand is kind of like waiting to shoot out the windows. And it's just fascinating what you can do. Like I even have ideas for series and everything is possible. It's just a new way of looking. Now our new way of looking says, well, what can you shoot from the safety of some place where you're not out in public? And so the car for me has become that. So that's my setup. I think it really works well. If you're looking to try it out, do some tests at a two thousandth of a second. For me, it didn't work. 4,000 is what was the magic number to freeze whatever I point the camera at. ISO 800, F8, focused on 15 feet. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. If you do do that, please be extra careful. I am super careful when I do that. I never take a photo if it's at risk of traffic or anything like that. I need all my viewers. I'll be back next week. Have a great week. And as always, here's the great light.